Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory. Yesterday we had episode 2 of the You Pick I Play series go live, so if you missed that, be sure to go ahead and check it out and make sure to upvote your favourite comment down in the comments section. I believe at the time of recording this, Pink Diamond Yanis is leading the way and Sapphire Alex Caruso is second, so there's a very differing players as to who we will be adding in episode 3, so be sure to go ahead and watch that and cast your vote. But for today's episode, we are going to be adding in Pink Diamond I'm into Chris Weber. And that Weber? Weber. Now, I have already bought him. I managed to pick him up for 86,000 MT, which last night was a snipe. The cheapest was 95,000 MT. We got him for 86. I think it's a decent price. We're going to get into a couple of games of Triple Threat online with him today and see how he gets on. And we're also going to be checking out some of our investments. And I think today we are going to be selling off all of our diamond contracts. But let's jump into it. So the limited time event today isn't bad. Two bonus tokens for every domination win. Not too bad, obviously, everyone at this point in the game has pretty much got domination complete. If you haven't, I would only recommend doing all-time domination for the tokens. These two are completely, completely irrelevant at this stage. And of course, we do have some dominations going on down here in the daily agenda. So I might play my domination games because I need to do uh, one game here for these two weekly ones. And these two daily ones aren't bad either. 1,200 for one game is pretty good. So I might get through two games, might get myself a bonus for tokens because why not? And we've actually got a really nice daily agenda right here for two tokens, a Sapphire Small Forward. So let's go ahead and pick ourselves up a Sapphire Small Forward. I think that's the first time I've ever seen one for two tokens from uh, the daily agenda, which is great. And you can literally pick up a Sapphire for 750 MT. Thought they might be a little bit cheaper, but 750, we will take that and we'll be able to sell them off for pretty much exactly the same price. We'll go for a Latrell Spreewell, why not? And then just to make sure we actually get it, you have to go ahead and send him over to the auction house and there we go that has completed that so two tokens coming our way just for buying card that we're going to sell back instantly so it's basically two tokens for doing nothing which is awesome and like i said should be adding in another four tonight if i can get through two games of domination which i'll definitely try and do all right we move on onto the challenge section and we sadly don't have any more moments challenges which is a shame i might get through this one probably not though because four minute quarters just for 2000 mt it's just not a lot. When I'm sitting on over half a mil, 2,000 isn't really that much uh, to me. And then weekly challenges, yeah, I don't think we're going to get through many more of these between now and the end of the year. And Triple Threat Online, off offline, sorry, haven't even touched it since we hit Pink Diamond Surge back and we hit halfway. And uh, yeah, my motivation has now absolutely gone to actually get anywhere in this. It's just so outdated. The rewards are so outdated. 25 wins for 5,000 MT. 50 wins for another, or 50 wins in total for 10,000 NT. It is just not worth it, in my opinion. But anyway, we move on, multiplayer challenges. Still haven't got the right sets up here. It should be up to week 25, because if we look at weekly challenges, there is up to week 25. So that doesn't make any sense. So they're definitely missing a week out of the multiplayer challenges, which I would like to do, because obviously we can get ourselves another six tokens from doing that, but it is not there just yet. So we come down here, we sold one card, Doug Christie, and we have picked up, actually, we picked up a couple of these cards right here from Moments of the Week 6. Um, just because, again, I think there might be decent-ish investments uh, if they do drop some more Moments of the Week Super Packs, something like that. Or just in general, they could go up in price because they do lock in for tokens. Moments of the Week set 6 is a set that locks in for 100 tokens. So they might go up in price a little bit when the token market update happens. But we then have Pink Diamond, Chris Webber ready to join the squad. Like I said, last night I picked him up for 86,000 and he was the cheapest on buy now by quite some way. It was a big old snipe. But let's take a look at what he's selling out right now and it's probably going to be like 70k, no my luck. Uh, we'll put this at maybe 89k. Good, okay, so we got ours, like I said, 86k we paid for ours, and it looks like he's still over 90, still over 92, all right, so we actually got a really good price on him. Over 95? Let's go, okay, so about 92k for him. That's pretty good, so even if he's sold him back right now, we'd actually, uh, well, pretty much break even, which isn't too bad at all. So, we are going to go ahead and chuck him into our main squad. Now, today we're just going to play some Triple Threat online with him, uh, see how it gets on, because I think he could be a perfect card for TTO. But let's compare him to, well, like I said, he is going to be coming in at the backup powerful position, so we will be replacing Jeff Green. So, Chris Webber comes in, 25 Hall of Fame badges and 23 gold badges. That is big. In terms of Hall of Fame badges, we've got Green Machine, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Relentless Finisher. Uh, we've got Quick First Step on somebody six foot ten, which is massive. He's got Dimer, he's got Box, Rebound Chaser, Back Down Punisher, and he's got Gold Clamps as well, which is really nice. Gold Deadeye, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw. Some really, really nice badges. Now, as I mentioned when we first looked at this card, he doesn't have Intimidator at all. 
which is big. Defensively, that badge is so important. So the fact he doesn't have it is a bit of a turn off. But I think offensively, this card is just going to be so ridiculous uh, that it kind of outweighs the fact that he doesn't have that badge. So in comparison to Jeff Green, Chris Webber has the post game on lock. He's got the shooting, 95 mid-range, 91 on the three-pointer. 95 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk. Passing really nice, 86 ball control, so he can speed boost. Interior D at 93, which is awesome. But Jeff Green actually has a better perimeter D, but he does have the 90 block as well. Rebounding is super high, 96 on the rebounding. And the speed and acceleration at 86, strength at 94, with a vertical of 83. Lateral quickness at 82 could be a little bit higher, uh, but I don't think we can complain too much. So this is how the squad would now look. Of course, he is down there with Moses Malone, who does have the Hall of Fame Intimidator badge. So that kind of makes up for the fact that Chris Webber doesn't have it, but I would still much rather my power forwards had it. But we'll see how he plays. It might be a case that we sell him off in a couple of days. Obviously, tomorrow we are going to get a big content drop. Uh, Robbie from Two Bros Gaming, well, if I can speak, um, did confirm that we would be getting some good stuff for the leap year for, of course, February the 29th. So it makes sense we would be getting that tomorrow. So... I am starting to think that uh, today or tomorrow morning is the time to sell off all of these cards. And I think all of these moments cards, I think they are going to take a hit because obviously they don't lock in for a collection. So they are relatively cheap anyway. They do depreciate quite quickly. And um, so I think it is going to be a good idea to actually just start selling up all of these cards. So we've got a Derek Jones Jr. Diamond card coming in at around 27 thousand mt 24k there i definitely think he's worth at least 30 but if the market isn't there then that's fair enough so he'll be sold by tomorrow morning i'll list them up before i go to work in the morning because hopefully that is when their prices will be at their highest bam at a bio um and this is the reason why i'm looking at selling him is because i think this next set is going to have a center or a power forward that can play center um, as a reward, um, I think they haven't dropped a really top, top tier uh, big man for quite some time. We don't have any Galaxy Opal big men just yet. So I think tomorrow is going to be the day that they actually drop some really nice big men. So Bam Adebayo coming in at around 70k. Um, you know what, I'll take that for Bam. 70k is not bad at all. It's still quite a significant chunk of MT. Uh, but again, I will wait to sell him off in the morning. Next up, Pink Diamond Aaron Gordon. A fantastic card. Do I want 100k invested in him? He is selling for over 100k now. Do I think he'll come down? Probably. Are there better small forwards out there? It's hard to say, to be honest, because he is just so, so damn good. I mean, can he get much better? Not really. Um, but would I be able to buy him back for cheaper than 100k at some point? I definitely think so. So even if it's a case of we sell off these cards tomorrow and then buy them back on Saturday or Sunday, I think that is still going to be a good move. So we'll get Aaron, Aaron Gordon over to the auction house again. We'll get rid of him tomorrow. And over here, we've got the uh, Diamond at Donovan Mitchell, 95 rated. Uh, not selling for too much, I don't believe. Um, but of course, he did come out in the locker code. So chances are his price is never going to recover fully. Uh, but if we just put this down to... Uh, what is he? Moments cards over here somewhere. And let's see if we can get like 8, 9k for him. Let's see if we can do that. That would be nice. I think we actually bought him for like two or 3,000 MT when he first came out. It was so, so cheap. So 9k, there's quite a few up. Uh, and looks like probably about 8k for him, to be honest. So 8k for Donovan Mitchell. You know what? I'll take it. I'm not going to complain at that. Well, let's not sell him. Let's uh, send him to the auction house. And we'll take 8k for Donovan Mitchell. We'll get him up uh, again in the morning. And then Steve Nash, of course, our invested player. Let's take a look at his price. 21k he was earlier, I believe. I would like him to be 25k before I sell him. But like I said, I think tomorrow's content is just going to take a hit on everything. So I think we could be struggling to actually sell these cards off. And it looks like he's up at 22k, which is really nice. I will happily sell for that amount. So again, as another one, I'll list up in the mornings and then in the mornings in the morning and the last thing is going to be these diamond contracts and i think it's just time to just get rid of them uh, they've been 15k or lower for so long now it seems and it just doesn't look like they're showing any signs of recurring every time they drop a really good content drop instead of the prices going up because everyone wants to put these contracts on players the price is just coming down because they're getting pulled so frequently so i think 15k i'm just gonna have to take the bite the bullet on that one and take it on the chin uh, and get 11 of them sold for 15 thousand mt so i will be doing that again in the morning so tomorrow we could be sitting at over a million easily absolutely easily so let's get all of this stuff over to the auction house it's been good we've invested in these for quite some time we bought them all a long while ago it seems like anyway uh, in, re in reality it was probably only a couple of weeks but a couple of weeks we've held on to these and it's definitely definitely paid off it already paid off massively with the chauncey billups right here and the uh who else was it miles bridges we absolutely cleaned up on him and i forgot we still had quite a few chauncey billups sitting there we sold the other ones for about 8,500 MT, 
And let's have a look at what he's selling for at the moment. If they are if they are back at eight and a half, that'd be great. And it looks like he is all right. That is fantastic. So he's definitely going to come down from that again. He dipped down to about 6K after they dropped that locker code. And again, locker codes are a big thing. They can instantly change the prices of so many cards. So would we be able to finesse about 9K for each of these cards? You know what? I think we probably would. We'll probably finesse 9K out of each of those. So that is awesome. Tomorrow morning, I will get all of these cards listed up. And uh, yeah, then tomorrow we should be sitting on a significant amount of MT. Let's get this to the trails to be well sold, try and get a little bit extra back for him. But yeah, tomorrow, hopefully, guys, we are going to be sitting on a lot. And that is pretty much it in terms of the actual cards we have to sell. Uh, Moments of the week cards, we've got as uh, investments. Uh, Healy Turkle is there to stay. Marcus Sold, still need to work on him, but I can do that tonight in these games of uh, domination. Russell Westbrook is here to stay. Vince Carter, Galaxy Opal, still selling for like 200k. How is he not more expensive? I don't know. Um, but I do kind of want to get him sold. And then we've got Steve Nash right here. Uh, again, another one that can go to the auction house. And same situation with Big Shaq as well. The Big Diesel coming in. Again, he can be sold in the morning. So we are cleaning house. Uh, expecting really big things tomorrow. And knowing my luck, they are going to drop some really, really bad content tomorrow. But you know what? We can live in hope that it's going to be some fantastic stuff. So let's jump into this. Jeff Green was actually in my Triple Threat Online squad because he just is a lot of fun to use. Russell Westbrook's obviously fantastic. He's so, so quick. Uh, and Chris Webber obviously coming in right now as a really nice card. Do you want to swap him out for anyone? I do want to get that Zion in here, to be fair. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll take Jeff Green out. We'll put Zion Williamson in there just because he is so much fun to use in-game. So let's see what Chris Webber can do in Triple Threat Online. I'm hoping for really good things. Obviously, he can speed boost. He can shoot three. He can drive. He can do everything. The only thing he doesn't have is the Intimidator badge, which, not going to lie, does scare me a little bit because every big I've used for so long now has had that badge. And the Hall of Fame badge is what I've been using for the majority of the year. Now, Miles Turner has it Hall of Fame. The Shaq card that I went 12-0 with, he had it Hall of Fame. Even the Pete Diamond Giannis has it on Hall of Fame when I use him as my center in Triple Threat Online. But this guy comes in with Ben Simmons, Chauncey Phillips, and David Robinson. So David Robinson, hopefully he won't be going down to the post too much uh, to take advantage of Chris Webber. But we match up very well, so see if we can get some really nice highlights in this one. Let's see if we can get plenty of dunks going with Chris Webber. You know what, we'll give him the ball on the first possession right here because David Robinson doesn't exactly have the best lateral quickness, I can't imagine. And Chris Webber is just going to burn him. We're going to stop this one and we're going to pull it and we're going to green light the first shot of the game with Chris Webber. That was nice and easy. And uh, we're going to try and get the steal. We get it with Russ. Easy as you like. What button is Chris Webber? He is square, but he's cut inside. What have you done? Why have you done this? And this guy's tried to get me with a pump fake. It didn't work, but Russ just kind of let him bully him uh, down low. That was annoying. Russ, why did you cut right there? Uh, it wasn't even Russ, was it? It was Chris Webber. Why did you cut? I do not know. Again, look at Chris Webber. Look at the speed. And he's going to take that one all the way. And we're going to get swatted by the David Robinson. That one sucks. And we're going to get the stop right there. And Russell Westbrook with the rebound. We're going to go outside to Zion. We're going to lob this one up for a Chris Webber who is absolutely nowhere. We'll let him shoot the three right there with Chauncey Blips. It's a little bit deep. And uh, Chris Webber, what have you just done? Why have you done that then? Why have you done that? And it doesn't matter. Zion with the steal. Westbrook is going to bring this one home. And we're going to send Chris Webber cutting. We're going to lob this up to Chris Webber for the first alley-oop of the game. There we go. Getting up high and throwing it down. All right, giving it back to Chris Webber. Let's see what his crossover's like. Let's see if this is uh, any good. It's actually pretty usable for a big man, to be fair. Look at the speed. We're going to kick this one to the corner to Zion Williamson for three. It's a green light. It's only a two. He stepped in inside the line. That's a little bit annoying. Don't do that next time, Zion. Um, but still, really nice pass from Chris Webber right there. He's going to drive inside with Chauncey. He's going to kick that one out to David Robinson. We're behind him, just getting pushed around by the size of that David Robinson card. Let's make sure we don't give up the steal. And Chris Webber is going to go downhill right here. We're going to go all the way around. We are going to stop this one. We're going to kick it out to Zion Williamson for another green light. I think that's three jump shots and three green lights, guys. That does not happen very often with me. So I hope you're proud with how well my shooting has gone on in the last couple of episodes. Chris Webber on the chase down, and he gets us in the air. And fair enough, he finishes that one with Chauncey Phillips. That actually puts this guy up by two. He's trying to get these inbound steals. Just leave me alone. Let me just inbound the ball in peace. Let's see if we can get a step back three with Chris Webber. He doesn't have range extender, of course. So we're not going to be taking any ridiculously deep threes. That is just going to be over Chauncey Blips. Very nice and easy right there. His driving layup is ridiculously high, so he definitely should be knocking those ones down. 
Uh, Chorty Phillips looking really damn nice out here, not going to lie. Let's try and get back on the defensive end right here. Ben Simmons with a mid-range wheel. We'll live with that every time down. I'm just going to uh, rotate in the paint right here with Chris Webber because, of course, Duncan Robinson... Uh, is Dun Duncan Robinson? David Robinson, even, is not a threat from the outside. Chris Webber with the rebound, but Ben Simmons spamming square right there. And Chauncey Phillips wide open for three. He's going to brick it. Chris Webber with another rebound. We're going to go outside here to Zion, uh, and we're going to go back up top to Chris Webber. We're going to breeze around him, and oh, I wanted a poster over David Robinson. That would have been really nice. Uh, instead, we do not get that. That is annoying. And this guy is spamming that square button. Jesus Christ, my guy, lay off it. All right, Chris Webber, again, let's bring this out. Uh, and it does look like every time round, he can pretty much get a, bro a blow by, a blow by on this David Robinson car. Look at him go. We're going to snatch this one back for another jumper. And it's another green light. I know they're only easy little shots for me, uh, very close to the rim. But still, you got a time and right. People do miss those, including myself. Uh, you do miss those shots from very close range. But we're managing to green light pretty much everything. So his release is really nice. David Robinson with the mid range. He's going to hit that one and tie this one back up. He's going to come at me with David Robinson, which means we are wide open with Chris Webber right here. We're going to take the three over Chauncey Billips, and he's going to knock it in. Not quite green, but as close as you're going to get, and we're going to get the steal. Ah, we should have got the steal with Russell Westbrook, and he takes the moving two and makes it. That definitely should have been a steal. How is that not a steal? I don't know. Uh, again, we're going to get the blow by. We're going to go all the way to the rim, and we're going to get swatted away. Maybe I'm trying to do too much with one player right here, uh, but I definitely thought we had the run on him right there. Okay, let's go with Russell Westbrook because Chris Webber is in the corner uh, and he should rotate over with someone. He's rotated over. Rotate over one more. Chris Webber in the corner and that is a green light and that I called that play to perfection. That was fantastic. I do the kick out to Zion. I wasn't going to take a shot with Zion. We were going to take it with Chris Webber and that worked absolutely perfectly for a wide open three. And we managed to green light it at that. Take the three with David Robertson. That is fine. It's gone ahead and made it, to be fair. I did not think his three-point rating was good enough to make it, but I guess it is. All right, let's just make sure we clutch this one out. One more score to win. Obviously, one more three to win. We've got Westbrook for three, and it's going to be a green to end this game. How many green lights was that in one game? That is insane, and that was a really good performance by Chris Webber, not going to lie. Felt really nice and quick. Rebounds, he was killing it on the boards. Really nice release. I think he green-lighted every shot he took, apart from 1-3, which he still managed to make. So yeah, Chris Webber, first impressions are really, really nice. And there's the board we have got. I think it's three ball drops for this one. It is. 1,000 MT would be nice. 500, yeah, it's all right, I suppose, isn't it? So we're on 5, 8, 1, and I'll show you guys how much we get from these three ball drops in a sec. All right, so finally we are done with those three ball drops. Looks like we made about 2,000 MT from that one game. Not bad. I think we hit 1,000 MT once and then 200 MT right there. Nothing crazy. So we made about 2,500 MT. Not bad to be fair. So I think we just got to jump into another game. That game was such a success. So many green lights. It was ridiculous. And Chris Webber doing it really damn nice. So let's see who our opponent is for the second game of the day. All right, second opponent is up eventually. And let's see. What we are going to be facing in this one. His team is Pink Diamond Wilt, Pink Diamond Kareem, not Pink Diamond Kareem, Amethyst Kareem, and Amethyst Isaiah Thomas. Interesting. Two, two centers and then a midget, basically. So little and large out there on the floor. So that's going to look pretty funny. Uh, especially, I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. Bless him. Little old Isaiah Thomas. Obviously, that card was uh, available so early on in the game. Uh, and fair play to this guy for actually trying to Evo him up. Chris Webber battling over Wilt for the rebound right there, or over Kareem for the rebound. That felt pretty good. Obviously, this is going to be a problem right there. Uh, so we are just going to double team, obviously. Uh, let's not leave Isaiah Thomas open. He's the only player that can shoot for this guy. Um, and Westbrook gets a tip. So, yeah, if he's going to come at me in the paint on Zion Williamson, obviously we're going to have to double team. How on earth was that not a steal? There were so many people there. He gets the hook to go. And, again, this is where the Intimidator badge is is going to be missed because obviously uh, they these two guys can dominate down in the paint and if we don't have a Hall of Fame Intimidator badge down there, it's going to be a problem. Chris Webber all the way inside and putting it over Pink Diamond Wilt nonetheless. That feels really good. I was definitely uh, preparing to kick that one out, but you know what? We will take the drive when we can get it. So as long as we score every time down, even if he takes it into the post every time, we're going to be fine. Uh, we'll just make sure we do have Chris Webber down in the paint for... Wow, look at the speed of uh, Westbrook. We're going to lob this one up to Chris Webber flying in on the alley from Zion. This is how you run Triple Threat online. This is how you have fun playing 2K. Uh, you just got to make sure you have plenty of high-flying players uh, and make sure they can all pass. 
And they've come up against an opposition who uh, has some very, very strange and questionable teams. <laughs> anyway, chucks up another shot. Chris Webber again with the rebound over Kareem. You love to see it. We're going to keep this one out to Zion Williamson. Not green. And we are going to break our first jump shot of the game, I think. Not of the game, of the day. I think that's the first jump shot we've bricked of the day, which is kind of mad to say. Uh, he's going to hit that one again with Intimidator. That shot might have missed. Um, basically, it just bails you out if you're not in a good position. As long as you're in the vicinity, that badge will have an adverse effect on the opponent. We're going to stop this one for three with Chris Webber. It's another green light. My shooting, guys. I'm telling you, I'm on fire. This is awesome. So there we go. Chris Webber with another green light. So he is feeling so, so damn nice. So the question now becomes, as this guy takes some horrendous shots, another rebound for Chris Webber right here. We're going to go over to Westbrook and Zion is flying in. He wants to get in on the action. There we go. So now the question is, yeah, like I was saying, he did replace the Ruby Jeff Green in the squad. And of course, that Jeff Green was replaced by, or replaced, sorry, the Diamond Lamar Odom. So we've got to work out, is it worth having 90,000 MT invested into this player? We've left the only player who can shoot wide open and he's hit it, fair enough. Is it worth having 90k invested in this card when we do have the Jeff Green on the reserves who can just slot right in to this squad? And look at Chris Webber just burning by and going straight to the rim again. Um, so yeah, he does feel really, really nice. And obviously we do have Giannis at the uh, starting powerful position. So Chris Webber wouldn't be starting. He would be coming off the bench. Is it worth having 90k invested in a bench player? That is something that does need a little bit of thinking. Very late, 86% contested just went in. Are you okay, 2k? I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Um, anyway, let's see if we can get a wide open three off this little drive right here. We can. It's Zion in the corner. He's not going to rotate over. And we're just going to catch another green light because that is just what we do. Open shots. We are absolutely killing it. This is unheard of. I know this guy isn't great, but still, he's uh, still leaving me open. I've still got to hit the shots. And Chris Webber, we're going to throw this one up. We're going to repay the favour to Russell Westbrook, who flies in for the really nice uh, acrobatic alley-oop finish right there. Uh, and this has been an absolute breeze. Again, we've got Chris Webber wide open. It's only a mid-range. Like, come on, guys. What are you are you guys watching? Are you seeing this? How many green lights can we catch? I am absolutely automatic, apparently, with this Chris Webber's release. Amethyst Isaiah Thomas gets a little layup to go right there. And we need one more three to win it. So, of course, we're going to go to our guy, Chris Webber. We're going to see if we can source him a little bit. So he's not playing on ball, which is really annoying. But we are just going to go right around him, all the way to the rim, with the 360 athletic finish from Chris Webber. And we will need to finish it on the next possession. So he's coming down in the paint with Kareem with all over him. 22% contested, so not great. And yeah, he is going to knock that one in. So I think defensively, this card is going to be a little bit of a liability. Is he going to play on ball for this final possession? He is. So we're going to get the three. It's not green. No, I've missed the last shot of the game. I've let myself down. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? I've been doing so well. I'm going to go ahead and mess it up. Chris Webber with the block and the rebound. That is a really nice rebound to get. That Kareem is pretty good on the boards, but he's no match for our pink diamond Chris Webber and he's just going to go all the way to the rim and we're going to finish that one with the easy layup what a performance that was right there 10 of 12 from the floor that was a lot of fun all right so for this board we are going to have four tokens that's not bad uh, but it is only in the one yellow slot right there which is very very tough to get to uh, and yeah for four wins oh, not for four wins for four ball drops this is pretty goddamn awful. So we're at 583, basically 584k. Uh, so we're going off these four ball drops. I'll check back in with you guys and let me know how much MT we made. All right, so we end it off hitting the four tokens. So that's not bad at all. So I think, again, we probably made about 2,000 MT and we've got a good couple of tokens as well. So we can't really complain about that. So Chris Webber... Not bad at all, to be fair. Oh, wow, our team is absolutely gone, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Um, all those moments players being sold. Uh, that leaves a couple of spaces in the squad, um, but it is going to free up a lot of MT, so that is very good. I'm going to be looking at selling this Vince Carter as well. Um, but like I said, hopefully the next promo that we're going to get tomorrow, fingers crossed, is going to have big men, so it shouldn't really affect the price of this Vince Carter. If anything, it should make him go up because there won't be a new uh, shooting guard or small forward. Obviously, we had the MJ. He was also a similar position. We had KD who comes in as a small forward. So hopefully, there's not a card that affects his price and it only makes his price go up. So that is what I'm hoping for. Then we'll get him sold. Um, and then, obviously, Brandon Roy can move back to the starting shooting guard position. And we can just look at reinvesting in these last couple of positions. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you picked up that Chris Webber, let me know what you think about him because I think he is fantastic. As usual, guys, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.